There are far more possibilities than stars in the sky. The great mindship Earth Star and its crew are on an awesome mystic journey through space and time. Join them on their quest and experience the sights and sounds of the Earth Star Continuum. Brought to you by Sushi and Ramen. It tastes like me. Yum, 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 yum. Free delivery in a 3 million parsec area. Help me. Help me. Buy me dinner first. You are what I eat. Captain, Dr. Puss is having that dream again. I thought I'd better alert you before it gets to that part where, well, you remember what happened last time. Yeah. Now I remember how I know you! <laughs> Help me! Help me! Calamari table for one! Help me! <laughs> Remrath, get him out of there. Okay, Captain. I had the strangest dream. We were on Earth, and you were there, Nebula, and you were there, Remrath. Far out, man. I had the same dream. It wasn't a dream, you two. Dr. Puss, stop confusing things. We are on Earth, aren't we? Gladys, where are we? We are in a relationship, and it's complicated. Is that wrong? Dreams within dreams, Captain. Why does this happen every time we wake up? I have been activating the Amnesiator. Ugh! My bad. The Supreme Ruler sent us somewhere. Think, where is it? Is there a trivia five, Captain? Bacon, we're still on Earth. It is Earth, isn't it? Blue sky. Single sun. Listen, everybody. We should split up today. Cover more ground. We need facts. We need data. We need hard data. Osmunda, find a place that has a very high vibration. You got it, Nebula. Remraf. Let me guess. Earth waves. Okay, okay, okay. Cowabunga. <laughs> well, Biondo, what are we gonna do? Good God, no, we've just landed. Why do all your plans involve getting naked? What we need to do is get out and find a place that has a high vibration. Let's start there. Look, there's Cannon Lighthorse. I think we should ask him. That was the weirdest night I've ever had. I'm never eating peanut butter again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, bamboo. Neighbor. Nebula, my neighbor. What is that? This is coffee. Freshly brewed. It's Victor of the Gods. Try some. Do we drink it? You drink it every day. <laughs> oh, good God, that's like Zablion Flignar without the buzz. Biondo. <sighs> Maybe he likes it. <laughs> Looks like your friend Jerry Garcia likes it. I think he likes it. Or maybe he doesn't. It's hard to tell with Biondo. Biondo! Come back here, we've got work to do. Down, Biondo! Um, so, uh, Mr. Lighthorse, what do you people do on this fine morning when they want to... when they want to... Spit it out! 
achieve a high vibratory state. You mean fun? Fun, yes. What do humans do for fun? Uh, well, for fun, I go to the Rusty Nail. They have a heavy pour. The best eggs Benedict I've ever had. Say, why don't you join me on my morning constitutional? We would be delighted. Let's go. This my meal. It looks delicious. Well, you better let me know if there's any good nightclubs down there in the ocean. I'm going to be on top, skimming the surface for grooves, man. I'll be doing a little probing myself beneath the surface. Well, see you later on the flip side. Indeed. This is my place, the Rusty Nail. I like it. What do you do here? We drink. Ooh, I am thirsty. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Light Horse. Hi. Well, I'd like to order three Bloody Marys. Three of the usual with extra sardines. I've got some friends here and they are ready to party. Treat them good. You got it. Bloody Marys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, good God, I want to thank this Mary. Her blood is delicious. Oh, well, I don't know who she is, but here's to her. A toast to Bloody Mary. Mary eats toast. It's all CDs, DVDs, MGMTs, you know, electric candles. Uh, well, here's to the world. Us against the world. Beyondo. What? I'm not telling him that. What did old Walt Whitman bag of salad just say? He would like to know where he can procreate with an earthling. You mean get laid? He's not tired. Uh, doing the sideways lambada? Hiding the salami? Polishing the pimento? I don't know where you can get laid, but I've been probed six times by aliens. Mm. Strange octopus-tailed heads. I'll never forget them. Ooh, um, so uh, what's the most groovy thing happening around here? Where do you guys go for high groove vibrations? Groovy. Well, uh, back in the day, we'd go to uh, Men at Work, but now it's called Deep Hippo. Well, after this, let's go to Deep Hippo. All right. Ooh, well, hello. Well, let's let's get some drinks. Let's shots all around. Ruby, your tongue is made of what? <laughs> Nice work, cavemen. Here's a cookie. Om sweet om yoga. I wonder what this yoga is. Who's new today? Hi, I'm Asmunda of Falopia, daughter of the seventh ray of Zin Chao Zagablio. I am pleased to be here in this house of high vibration. Gary, you have to tell me your secrets with the ladies. You're the most popular guy in class. Watch and learn. Hi, I'm Goji Gary. My friends call me Raja Flaxi. Let's get started. When you're ready, Adho Mukha Savasana pose, everybody. You want to get some dirty chai with me? Ever since I returned from my ayahuasca journey in Peru, I've realized my true calling, which is to readjust as many beautiful women as possible. I'm a tantric master. Gary, you're not that good. And I have a chia farm. I press my own wheatgrass. He's so free range. Allow me to adjust you. Are you trying to initiate a mating ritual with me? Gary, we've discussed this. Get 
back to your mat. Can you feel my dragon breath? <laughs> Osmunda, that was very impressive. Wow! She must have really been to India. What technique was that? That was the Four Winds of Gazanza. Okay, but do you know this? Virabhadrasana! Your warrior pose is strong. But do you know the Balthusian ging- <laughs> He's going for the goji berries! I am known throughout the world for my Garurasana! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I see you're a student of Champa Kuchi, but I taught him everything he knows. Let me introduce you to the fallopian thinking cap. Cobra pose! <laughs> pose! Unicorn! Ah, you are strong, woman! You have speared my third chakra! Ah. Kombucha! I got your back, bro! Ananda Balasana! <laughs> the kimchi is strong in you, Raja Flaxseed. Cat pose. Dog eats cat. Tiger eats dog. Shark eats tiger. Land to be in glad nor eat shark. Oh my goddess. Rock beats paper. Prepare for the triple Xanthian rainbow, the great ego destroyer. <laughs> I love you. Downward dog. That had to hurt, spiritually. You have stretched well, Raja Flaxseed. But in the future, we will unite and stretch against the common enemy. Oh. That's beautiful, cavemen. I suppose you'll want another cookie. Well, he is pink. And he's a stranger. He's a stranger. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's pink. pink. Hey, he's a stranger. Well, he is pink. He's a stranger. He's a stranger. Dr. Puss, you're here at last. Oh, hey, Dr. Puss. The prophecy is fulfilled. The prophecy, the prophecy is fulfilled. The prophecy says a pink stranger will come from the sky. Well, I'm really more of a fuchsia, except when I'm feeling frisky. It breaks my heart to inform you that our kind have not been in charge for a very, very long time. It's the humans. Those filthy, hairless minkies have caused nothing but problems. But all of that is about to change. With your keen intellect and oversized cranium, you will lead us into victory. The Jolly Rebellion! The greatest rebellion against the humans the world has ever seen. The Octopocalypse! Vive la Revolution! Revolution? Are you stockpiling arms? Arms? We don't need arms, we need legs! Blah, 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 blah. It's been billions of years since they climbed out of the sea. 
The planet Earth has never been the same. They filled our home with feces, garbage, and debris. These vermin should be terribly ashamed. It's really quite appalling what they've done to this place. That's why we must exterminate the whole human race. We've been marinating slowly in crude oil and scum. The crafty little omnivores. With, with opposable thumbs. Have you ever stopped to wonder why the ocean is so blue? If I used you as a trash can, you'd be gloomy too. P.U. I just can't see the slightest bit of sense in this at all. They love eating seafood as much as me and you. Ah, meld. It's really quite disturbing what they've done to the place. Do you think you can re-educate the whole human race? The bipeds filled our paradise with crude oil and scum. A walking, talking fungus. Filthy, hairless minkies. They're crafty little omnivores. With opposable thumbs. Great leader, how would you like us to proceed? I'm sorry, but I just can't help you. I'm a doctor, not a messiah. Time to I'm here to ride earth waves. Well, you've come to the right place. Fajitas! I mean, far out, man. You look a little blue, dog. Are you from back east or something? Yes, just east of Alpha Centauri. Far out? You are correct. I am far out, man. 30 light years far out. And I've come a long way to ride these earth waves and see what kind of groove levels they generate. We're just about to go out. Why don't you grab a board and a suit and come with us? All right. All right. All right. Far out. Far out, man. According to differential 5kq, two parts hydrogen, check. One part oxygen, check. All right, let's go. Off the charts. That guy just did a stand up barrel roll. Out of this world. Ah. Hey. Otto. I heard your people moved to Earth. How's it going? It's going great, man.
episode for absolutely no reason whatsoever. <laughs> New Earth can be so intoxicating. I'll drink to that. Yes, let's do it. This place sure got crowded, Light Horse. What can I get? What can you? I get you, hon? Hey, hello? Honey. Hello? Honey. Hey, hey. You want something Honey. or not? You want something hello. or not? Hello. hello? You know, I think that these are fermented and have gone bad. Gannon, you wouldn't believe how old the universe is. If I told you, you would feel so insignificant. I already feel insignificant. I'm feeling like a little sausage. One by one by one, one by one, by one, one, by one, by one. It took hours. Stuff it in. Oh, it's called a schnitzel. There are places with such beautiful grooves, I can't explain them to you. Driving back from Alaska and... I had it. 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 No talking. No, no, 15, 15 of us, days. all in one house, racing down the stairs like a roller coaster. I was always the last one. They called me Cabby Caboose. Big time fun. Control your poodle, Lighthouse. He just drank my drink. Control your poodle, Lighthouse. <laughs> I'm sick of you and your ex file buddies coming in here and talking about probings. <laughs> You're ruining the place. Rock. Let them be! I got a conspiracy for you! My boot in your ass! What the hell? Hey, what are you guys doing here? Hey! Filthy, despicable bipeds with opposable thumbs! Captain, something's wrong with Dr. Puss. He's even surlier than usual, man! Hmm, I know I've been drinking a little bit, but your friend looks awfully familiar. This whole thing is a travesty. Dr. Puss, Remraff, you need to try these. Hey, shots all around for yeah. my friends. Bobby High will call you in the night. Looks awfully familiar. Uh, I didn't really feel Bangkok! Let me guess. Scorpio? I get off work in half an hour. No one's ever tickled me like that before. That does it! You're toast! Don't look now, but here he comes. Oh, yeah. Pipe down, Light Horse. It's him I want. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Let me handle this. My good man, we come here to this establishment to be jolly and gay. Let us be gay together. <laughs> My 
people call that foreplay. Thank you. I got other plans for you. Asmunda, the crew is in a bit of a pickle and need your immediate assistance. I'm on it, Gladys. Why do I always fall for the bad boys? Hi, boys. Oh, not so loud. Come on in, Osmunda, this is great! What do you mean, great? Only a weirdo hippie would enjoy being tased in the ass. If you'd listen to me, we wouldn't have gotten into this mess. Where's Biondo? Hmm. 17 times in three seconds? How did you do that? Oh. Can I call you sometime? If you promise to play Let's Drop the Soap again, you can call me anything you like. I thought this was going to be easy. easy. They told me these humans were naive, primitive, talking monkeys. This one, this one. But it's infinitely more confusing than that. One minute we're being jolly and gay, innocently fermenting and dancing with the natives. <laughs> then these men in blue pick you up and escort you to these temples of meditation. By the silver crabs of Clark Lou, I have no idea what's going on here. Well, this is going to be harder than I thought. These humans are tough. I don't know, Captain. With these Earth waves to ride, I think humans could reach as high a groove level as anyone in the universe. Hark. In the distance, I hear the sound of one tentacle clapping. If we're going to get these Earth groove levels back on track, we're going to have to understand the minuscule particularities of the primate mind. Yeah, I learned that humans are beautifully complex in their emotions. I <laughs> think we should spend more time with them. I want to spend more time with them. I think we should all touch a human. Hey, 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 One thing I'll tell you, my fellow continuums, or my name isn't Darby Nebula. I like it here. This could be one groovy ride. And now, we've just received the latest transmission from the crew to the Supreme Ruler. Here's Osmunda of Fallopia with Touch a Human.
Up next, Kernflower Heights.